Hello everyone, this is Teacher Bali and welcome to another learning video. So for today's video, we will be discussing about the foundation of life or the basic unit of life, the cell. Hindi natin pag-uusapan dito yung si cell na kalaban ni Goku sa Dragon Ball Z. Cell is considered as the basic unit of life. These cells are tiny that cannot be seen through the naked eye. An organism is any living thing that is made up of single cell like the bacteria or many cells like the animals. Cells are involved in all process that sustains life. They can also die. However, they have a distinct characteristic that can duplicate itself. In this video, we will try to discuss the foundation or the events that led to the foundation and conceptualization of the cell theory. Also, we will be we will try to discuss the two types of cells that is different from each organism. So the cell theory started in the discovery of Robert Hooke in 1665. He looked into a microscope, a piece of a cork, and observed tiny little compartments that are fitted together. These tiny little compartments are like empty rooms in a monastery. That is why Hooke named them the cell. So at first, Hooke believed that only plants have cells until Anton van Leeuwen Hooke published his work in 1676. Anton van Leeuwen Hooke was believed to be the first to observe tiny living organisms that he named animalcules. So iba-iba yung tinignan niyang mga organism. After the discovery of Robert Hooke and Anton van Leeuwen Hooke, there was a tiny advancement in the cell discovery until Louis Pasteur reputed the, the theory of spontaneous generation. After that event, a leading botanist in his time in 1831, Robert Brown compared diverse kinds of plants specimen under microscope. He stated that cells have, have this one thing in common, dark dense spot at the center that he called the nucleus. Later on the discovery of Robert Brown, a German botanist named Matthias Leiden concluded in 1838 that all plants are made up of cells. On the other hand, a friend of Matthias Leiden, also a German botanist with the name of Schuder Schwann, concluded in 1839 that all animal tissues are made up of cells too. In 1858, Robert Virchow concluded that cells come from pre-existing cells. The discovery of Hooke, Lewin Hooke, Sliden, Schwann, and uh, Virchow led to the foundation of the cell theory. It can be summed up in three basic components. The first one is that all living organisms are composed of one or more cell. The second component of the cell theory is that the cell is the basic unit of life in all living things. And the third one is that all cells come from pre-existing cells. So the foundation of the cell theory gives us a clear view on the explanation of life. All organisms are made up of cell. However, they differ in types. Single cells like the bacteria or Organisms included in the kingdom of Arachnibacteria or Eubacteria are called the prokaryotic cell organism. Organisms belonging to kingdom plantae, kingdom uh, protista, um, fungi, and animalia are consist of many cell or what we call the eukaryotic cell. When we say prokaryotic cell, it doesn't have membrane-bound organelles like that of eukaryotic cell. Membrane-bound organelles are organs inside the cell that perform a specific function. Eukaryotic cell has nucleus at the center that contains the DNA, while the prokaryotic cell doesn't have a nucleus. The DNA is, is enclosed in what we call the nucleoid. Eukaryotic cell came from two words, the U, and the carion, which means true nucleus. 
Well, the prokaryotic cell came from two words, the pro or before, and the karyon as the nucleus. Eukaryotic cells are larger than the prokaryotic cell and they perform variety of function. Prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell both has plasma and a plasma membrane or the cell membrane and a cell wall. However, their composition and structure are highly dissimilar. In addition to this, eukaryotic organisms have varying features in terms of composition or structure and function of cell organelles. Like the fungal cell is different to plant cell in many aspects. In our next video, we will talk about the cell organelles. So before we end our video, let us have a summary of our lesson. So all organisms are made up of cell. The foundation of uh, the cell discovery started in the discovery of Robert Hooke where he observed a piece of cork and he termed the empty room structure as the cell. It started the formulation or the foundation of the cell theory. And we can sum up the basic components of the cell theory as one, all living organisms are made up of cell. Two, the cell is the basic unit of life of all living things. And the third one, all cells came from a pre-existing cell. So again, this is Teacher Bali saying COVID-19 shall not hinder our learning. Thank you for watching and have a good day.